God 80 years later when he was fleeing from Egypt for murder. Go look it up. Even the, uh, the Hebrews that saw him do that. He saw the two Hebrews arguing, right? Right. And so they say he tried to check the Hebrews about arguing with one another, saying that y'all brothers, but then the Hebrew looked at him and said, How can you judge us for you slay Pharaoh's soldier? And they used the word kill in that verse. So they understood the concept of killing long before Moses supposedly got some laws on the mountain. Is That's it true. true. Is it true that um, the story of Jesus is a direct um, plagiarized script from Kemet? From it, Egypt, it, it, from it, it's not direct, but it's pieces of it that is from Egypt. It's, uh, Christianity is nothing but Greek mythology mixed with Egyptian religion. That's all it is. The, 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 the gods that you call, you know, the greater gods of ancient Rome, they, they took places in Christianity. You see Cupid, that's the baby angel. That was already there. You got v Venus the Virgin, she was already there, okay, and Jesus is nothing but Zeus. S say Jesus in Spanish. Hey Zeus. Hey Zeus, that's right. Hey Zeus. Son of goddamn Zeus. That's all that it is. Is that just a coincidence? When you can take Jesus and put him right next to Serapis, and they looked at, you can see the shit for yourself. But you don't want to accept the fact. They, they they see it, but they know if they tell on master, master gonna dig in that ass. See, master still get, master still uh, signing them checks though. So you can know the truth, but as soon as a nigga have to uh, put his check and the truth on the line, he gonna choose the check. So a lot of these people know this shit. They know that this shit is old, man. Everybody know that Jesus is a copy of Horus mixed with Greek mythology. That's all that it is. Are you telling me that there's no such thing as a Jesus Christ that ever walked the face of the earth? There is no. It's not real? It's not real. There's no such thing as a God. Oh, there's no oh, such thing as a God. So God ain't no God? I, listen here. There, what we talking about as a God is an individual. A God as an individual. Somebody that you could just call on the telephone uh -huh. and say, God, what's going on? <laughs> right. Any of these niggas out here say they know God, ask them what his phone number is. So you could call him up. See, if somebody knock on your door, listen to me. If somebody knock on your door from any reputable company, they should have an identification card. And if you don't feel comfortable with that person, you can call up that company, give them that identification number, and they can verify whether that person worked for that company or not. As any of these niggas that say that they are a representative of God, show their identification number, give us a number to God, so we can verify that they actually represent the God they say they represent. Any one of them, give me the number to God. Give me the number to God so we can call him up. I'm going to bring you back. Uh, Let me ask you a question. What you think about uh, Coptic Christianity? Coptic Christianity is mixture. Anytime you start using the term Christianity, then it's mixture. Because the metal netter had already been sealed. The metal netter was already sealed. They had already had most of their glyphs. All of their gods, it had been sealed. So when you start seeing, and it had been practiced for 10,000, 20,000 years with no mixture. So in, why would they change all abruptly like that? And then just start introducing new shit that had never been seen. That shit is, and so when you go to the, the, the uh, Greek temples that was built by the Ptolemies, when you look at the uh, cartouches that was in the wall, the priests left them blank. They didn't even put their names in the cartouches so that we will always remember that they didn't recognize them as the true kings. They left their cartouches blank 
You see? The, so when the Ptolemies came in, that's when Christianity began. They started taking our Africa, just like what they did with the Sphinx. They took the faces down. They destroyed our faces as God. You see what I'm saying? They destroyed our image as, as a divinity. We were no longer looked at in that we was lower than low. You feel me? Damn, I done rocked my damn chain off my neck. Man, just... That's all right. That's all right. Keep moving. All right, now, you know, we always talk about Christianity, but I don't really hear nobody going in and putting foot on Islam. What's up with, what's up I with mean, Allah? Islam is deeper. They all tied to the Jew. All of them is tied to the Jew. So when, because when you look at the prophets of Christianity and Islam, all they did was add on top of Judaism. They kept the Old Testament prophets. The Christians just added Jesus, added Jesus on top of the Old Testament. And then Islam came later. They kept Jesus. But they added Allah on top of the Old Testament and Christ. It's just like this. You got 50 Cent, you got Eminem, and you got uh, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is getting the most. He the Jew. Ain't nobody going in his pockets. Right. But he going in both of them niggas' pockets. Right. The white boy and 50 Cent. See, but the white boy brought 50 in. Right. See, he's Christianity. See, and 50 is Islam. See, uh. the white boy getting, you know, because they, he had, they had, Islam added Jesus. That's a compromise. They had something over their ass. When they gave them that Islam, they said, we're going to give your ass a religion, but you're going to keep our Jesus. You, that's how it went. They gave them Islam. So they kept the Old Testament, Jesus, and added our lot. But look at it like this. Now look, now, look. He had, the Muslim have to pr pray to the prophets of the Old Testament and Jesus, but the Jew, he don't recognize Jesus. He don't recognize our lot. That show you the rank and file. But both of them, they recognize the Jew prophets. Islam and Christianity recognize the Jew prophets. But the Jews don't recognize Jesus or Allah. That show you the rank and file right there. Now the Christian don't have to recognize Allah, but the Muslim got to recognize the Old Testament and Jesus. That's right. He have to reckon. That show you the rank and file. Uh, that's so right. when all you have to do is go to the Old Testament, and once you destroy the Old Testament by default, you destroy Christianity and Islam. Wait a minute. If you saying you saying if uh, the in Hebrew Israelites they base everything on the Bible, right? On the Bible. So what's the beginning of the Bible then? What's the beginning? The, Bible. the beginning of the Bible is supposedly with Moses. They say Adam and Eve, but Moses is the first author of the Bible. It say Genesis, the first book of Moses. So based on tradition, they don't have no history before Moses. No other author ever wrote of Adam and Eve. No other author ever wrote of a Joseph or Isaac. It came with Moses. Come on, right. Go ahead. Come on. I'm just warm. They didn't, they didn't cry. Alright, so go ahead. Continue on. You were talking about Moses. Do you really believe that Moses is real? Is he a there's real no, person? There's no, there's no man known as a Moses that ever came into existence until one of these nasty ass crackers wrote him. Okay. You see, because ain't no... When do you find an original text from Moses? Right. Where? Where's the original one? If you ain't got no original, how do you know that this man even existed? You got a birth certificate. It got to be something on you to document you existed. And when you go to history, all the kings got their name in the wall. So it ain't no excuse for you not to be able to document that your name, who you are. You can go to all them pharaohs. You know the history of them because it's written. So where's this man's history at? 
Talk to me, I'm gonna come back to religion. Talk to me about sovereignty. Can black people have true sovereignty in the world of white supremacy? How you gonna have sovereignty without divinity? Divinity is the foundation of your sovereignty. This is how you, let me explain to you what divinity is. See, this will put that religion and that God shit in check. Go ahead. They, it, when you look at all things in creation, I'm going to say this once. I might do it twice. <laughs> All things in creation, when it comes in, when it's born into this world, it automatically knows what it is and what it's supposed to do. Yeah. A tree is a goddamn tree. It knows the fruit pre-coded. When it, but when it comes to it into existence, it does is the fruit that it, an uh, apple, it only produce apple. It don't make a mistake and produce no goddamn peach. Right. And don't nobody have to explain to that tree only grow apples. Do you have to talk to the tree and tell it what to do? No, no it automatic. That's in eight. So everything is pre-coded to do what it's supposed to do when it comes into existence. Nobody came here to find a God. Because you wouldn't have got here if you didn't already know God. How the hell you going to come here and nobody can explain to us where this God is at? Here we is right now wanting to meet God so bad in our heart. We love God. Just talk to us. Won't even talk to us. See, so this is what I'm saying. Nobody has ever documented this God speaking for itself. Let me finish, let me finish. It, it, go ahead. You said it's a couple of hours. God, but some people say they talk yeah. to God. What do you think about yeah, that? They All talk to God and then they wake the fuck up and come back to their senses. Because I used to talk to God. I did. I used to talk to God. And when I thought God was supposed to answer, I would answer for God. I say, Father. And then in my mind, I answer for God. You know what I used to say? Yes, my son. Yes, my son. And I go on with the conversation. But then after a while, I say, man, wake your stupid ass up. You know you the one answering for God. Ain't nobody ever talked to no goddamn God through the sky at one time. It's always a nigga in the bathroom, on the goddamn toilet, by himself talking to God. God has never opened the sky and verified one religion over the other. Not one of them. Religion is given to a man by another man. Just like these goddamn Jehovah Witnesses and all these, they come up and put that shit in your hand. If, if he don't do that, you wouldn't even know they ass existed. Okay? I'm talking about this grand supreme being that y'all say sitting up in goddamn heaven. Where he at? Why he don't speak for himself? Why he always got a man to speak for him in the confessional? When you go in the Catholic Church and you go in the confessional, you know who on the other side? A sick ass motherfucker worse than you. A fag motherfucker, he up in there raping them boys. And that's the man in the confessional telling you how to divine, you know, your, you know, control your spirit. So are you saying religion is poison to the black mind? Is religion poison? It's a trap. It's a trap because you don't have nothing in between you and your creator. You have direct connection. Everything in creation, when you come into being, you given at that moment everything you ever needed to thrive and survive. That's it. You didn't have to be taught this shit. You don't have to teach that act to be a damn act. Right. He's pre-coded. Huh. Why do we need instructions on how to be who we supposed to be? That's a very serious question. Nothing in nature needs instructions to be what it's supposed to be. You better think about that. You got choice though. Choice is what is where it get compromised. What you feel about like so knowing that people got choice. Do you feel that um, religion, spirituality, because you know most people, even though you you got it, what what are they gonna feel that's gonna keep them from doing the wrong thing or what we would consider wrong? What's gonna guide them? Well, you know what? I ain't telling people to give up because see, that's the trap. That's the cheese on the trap to make you think that that knowledge originated with that particular religion or book. Mm -hmm. We had that knowledge back in Africa. And so a lot of people think that by giving up God, that means giving up good practice. We had that shit long before they was attached to them religions. Mm -hmm. So just by you gonna still come into that, look at us. 
Ain't nobody out here claiming to be of no particular religion. We ain't jumping on nobody. Right, right, and I'm not saying it's because of the goddamn Ten Commandments that I'm not doing it. Right. I ain't thinking about no goddamn Ten Commandments. It's innately in us to act righteous. You don't have to be taught that. If you leave black people alone, they automatically go to doing righteous things. That's why they keep these motherfucking hook police down here keeping this bullshit going on. That's why they do that shit. You gotta say about this cracker being um, do you think it is, is in him to be righteous? Ain't no goddamn crackers is in here for power. We gotta quit equating spirituality with crackers. They don't even deal with spirituality. That ain't even a part of they. So when we think of a spiritual, we they don't even think about spirituality. The white man think about power. That's all the fuck the white man think about is power. And you understand what I'm saying? And they run in America like niggas run traps. Mm. You see what I'm saying? This a dope house. Y'all yes, niggas want to use emotional rules and <laughs> shit for a motherfucking killer. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I keep saying, if you really affecting the white man in a, in, in a in the right way, he gonna come see your ass. So he gonna come see you, nigga. So what is it gonna take for us to he get gonna out come of this see condition? You. Huh? What is it gonna take for us to get out of this condition that we're in? Listen you know, here, we brother. We far, we far beyond. Black you know what? Listen, I, I mean, I'm going to be real with you. Right now. We are so far in the hole, man, that most niggas should break and run. Really? You know, it's not the, the ideals, because Garvey was saying it. That's what he said. If you listen back in, to Malcolm back in, in one of his speeches, he said, we should act like it's already too late. That was back in the 60s. Nigga, we so far in the hole, the boat is under. The shit didn't crash already. The youth today, the youth today, they don't know nothing about Marcus Garvey. They don't know nothing they about Matt. They never heard of Nat Turner. Shit, some of them don't even know who Don't be surprised. Was. What is it going to take for us to reach out to the youth and start beginning to teach them the knowledge of self? Well, you got, to, you got to support your children. You know, we got to give these kids some, some, you know, some festivals of their own, bring them some artists is all they want to see. Motherfuckers got to quit shoving, shoving this shit down their throat. They want to be a part of this, but they don't necessarily want to live the, the era in which we live, the PE era, this, that, and ever. They don't don't know that right there. So they want to be able to have the a chance to give it its own expression. You know, you got to let them do that. What about masonry? Can masonry free us? If we was ain't, no, ain't nothing going to free us but the goddamn gun, nigga. <laughs> so you tell God me damn, if I, I had to. If I ain't nothing going to free you, nigga, but your feet, your fists, and the goddamn gun. That's it. Ain't nothing else going to free you. For real. So what is that about, like the Masons and all of that? What the is Masons that? Where did it come from? Ma masonry is a, a fraternity of probably the, the highest minds in the nation. Okay. You see? And so all men have fraternities. That don't mean they know nothing. They got power. And when you got power, you don't necessarily need to know much. Because them goddamn brutes, they knew brutality. Shit. They, but but they didn't necessarily, you understand? But what's the difference between a white mason and a black mason? It depends it on what the lodge difference. they come from. Okay. It depends on what frame of reference they come from. You got African masons. Mm -hmm. They don't talk that same shit them white masons talk over here. Mm -hmm. They don't talk the same shit. If you go to Africa, it might look like a western style mason lodge, but they over there talking shit that nobody else is talking. They ain't talking the same shit these months, even though they... But that's a program. It's just a program. Mm. That's all. If you get in it, if you make the month the objective fit your needs, it's a it's an order. It's a program. You can put niggas, it got all the different, you know, positions you need to fill to have an organization functioning. 
Now, I mean, just for the program, but the knowledge, you put your shit on top of it. You got to have organization. Even if it's underground organization, you got to have some kind of goddamn organization. So it's a program, nothing. And so if if if, if, if people put money behind this program, it's going to look good. And then if they want to promote that they got some knowledge, they might ain't got no knowledge. They might got power and money, but them niggas ain't necessarily the smartest motherfucker. They'll go pay the smartest motherfuckers to make the moves and just like the president, he, that's what he got his cabinet there for. He ain't necessary, but he might have the overall skills to be that the only one that can fit that leader role. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So that's his position, but it's a it's a program. The Catholics is a program. The, the Islam is a program. If you get in it, you can make it work for you if you want to. You know, you can put the blackness on it, but. That religion shit, man, wait, wait. it's just a sickening thing. So, so you saying uh, there was black people before the Bible? Man, it was black people so long before the goddamn Bible, man. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. The Bible, it really, when you look at the Bible, look at books over there. Mm -hmm. You see them books over there? Uh -huh. You know what? It take a printing press to, to press up books. Right. So you tell me when they just got the goddamn the the, the, the printing press in Europe, damn near in the 1700s, mm -hmm. where were the, where was all these motherfucking books they talking about? What was they being made on? I mean, I'm just asking that question. It take a press to make books. It take, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a widely known, and that's why when they when you come back with supposedly the oldest shit of the Bible and shit, it's always a fragment of some shit. You know, it ain't even a whole goddamn scroll. It's a, some shit like this with you know, toe up on the edges and shit. But see, Seti, you talk that about the Bible, but I don't really think you ready for them Hebrew Israelites, brother. <laughs> they stick them to the Bible. Them Hebrew Israelites know that Bible, brother. Man, listen here, man. I'm telling you, man. I don't give a fuck who you go and get. You can go get Israel. I will not give a fuck who, because once I get on Moses, I'm going to destroy their ass. They can't make it past Moses. They can't. They're going to have to start coming up. Well, that's Tut Moses. That's our Moses. That's hat chefs. They're gonna have to latch on some way, somehow. Cause that's what they're gonna have. They're gonna find a way to explain away Moses. They're gonna call him Tut Moses, our Moses, some bullshit. It's some bullshit, man. They ain't got no dates, they ain't got no original scroll from a Moses. So if you can't, I'm a scholar, nigga. And I wanna see your reference. And I want to know if it's an original. I want to know if the mother, if it's not an original from the man who you say wrote it, the motherfucking contest is over. If you go to court and a motherfucker bring in a witness that wasn't even there to see the shit, nigga, would you allow that to go down? No, sir. Would you let that motherfucker testify? Wouldn't you motherfucking stand up and say, God damn, he wasn't even there? Uh -huh. Right. But then you will let that shit get by with the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See? Ain't now one of them motherfuckers in there got an original script. So it, it's at least secondhand information. It can't be no better than that. If that, and they can't, and they can carbon date any of that shit, they ain't got no older text. They just don't have it, man. They lying like a motherfucker. Tell them to produce the original goddamn script. The original manuscript. Tell them to produce it. Those dudes, they already convinced. I don't get it. You can't just, we just got to direct our energy into, into. But you know what? So many people, some, you know why I want to get with them? Because just what I told you. When you attack them motherfuckers, you attack everybody. Right. Because most of these religions out right. here are Jew based. Mm -hmm. All of them. Do you know the first city Muslims pray to? Read it. It's in the Quran. Jerusalem. For 18 years, the, the Kibla was to Jerusalem. And then in the Quran, it says after that, they turned to worship towards Mecca. And that shows you their allegiance to the Jew. Period. They know that. They the ones that gave them that goddamn religion. How the hell a shepherd gonna come up with manuscripts, man? Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. 
You just showing up with books. You, I mean, me and you know what it take to write one of them motherfuckers over there. Mm -hmm. You just can't write no goddamn yo, and you a nomad? These are nomad, man. They moving through the desert. What the fuck they doing with books? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Unless they stole them. So when you look at all the air books and movies, it got thief in it. Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Mm -hmm. Aladdin the Prince of Thieves. God damn, Kick, and this is the shit you I mean listen to the shit. <laughs> they thieves. They thieves. They thieves. Go to and, and I mean that. But anyway, that right there proves the fact that the Muslim prayed to the Jew God. Period. They can and when you look and then the Muslim will say he, the crescent and the star is his symbol, but look on the Quran and you'll see sons. Look on the, uh, the door, the doors of the mosque of Mecca. Go Google it. It's a son. They fooling niggas. I, I got pictures where they didn't, the reason why they put the veil over his face, because when you take it off, it's just the sun. It's the, it's, the, it's the shining of the sun. He's the new sun deity. That's all he is. He's taking the place of Jesus. But That's see, it. Look, the Muslims bow down five times a day and they pray. To the sun. According to the sun. To the sun. To the sun. Uh. And the prayer at noon is a saw. F-A-S-R. Go look it up. Go look at the five prayers and you'll see that the prayers, if it ain't noon, it's shortly after noon, is a sock. And it's spelled A-S-R. Go look it up. Go look it up. Go look it up. So they ain't nothing but thieves. They got in there. They didn't even know what the hell to do with the shit. They have, he didn't even dig the, sh the goddamn sand out the temples until it was time to make some goddamn money. The sand was down there up to the ceilings. They would go up under the, and, and light fires and shit, and then they fucked the ceilings up. All the paintings, and you could see the soot. They didn't know what the hell to do with that. The white man, that's how the, the British and the French, it was under Arab occupation that they went in there and stole all them artifacts out of Egypt. It was under Arab occupation. And now they want to claim it for themselves. Ain't that a bitch? Now they want to claim it for themselves. They never respected the Egypt. They let them white people carve all into the temples. They let them, they just let a Chinese man. This is a Chinese boy. Did y'all hear about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker graffitied on one of the temples over in Egypt. What? Yeah, and then got on. They didn't know it till he got on Facebook and put the shit up there of what he had done. And they and they show where he just scribbled all over the the temple. That's why, that's why they don't respect that. us. Yeah. Even now this day, they. But I tell you what, let go over there and scribble on the cop and see what they do to you. They say if you over, if you even spit over there near the Wailing Wall, they they got right to shoot you. They got right to shoot you for desecrating sacred ground, huh? But they go over in Egypt and just tear it up, tear the temples, got whole temples they done removed out of Egypt. What kind of goddamn thief is that? To steal a man whole temple instead of leaving it right where it is, beautiful. They rather tear the motherfucker down and take it all away in pieces, fucking it up. They got they got the lip of the Sphinx in the British Museum. Damn. Sheikh Dia Ivan Van Sertima was talking about. And and his beard. And the beard. Mm -hmm. Ivan Van Sertima, Sheikh Dia was trying to get it back. He document that. That they knew they had. Man, y'all don't know the half. They done took so much of that shit out of Egypt. They know the goddamn truth. How much shit you think is under uh, Lake Nassau? They it's, build a man made It's a whole lot under there. It's a whole lot under there. That's one of the older regions of, uh, of the Nile Valley civilization. So you going that's right there is really where you see the next step. Why? What Egypt was becoming? They wanted to break out that link, so you couldn't see the link. See what I'm saying? So where you can look at the pyramids that's there now and say, well, they they still wasn't where the Egyptian was. You see what I'm saying? 
But that was the earlier stages of Nubia. You see what I'm saying? It was getting, it was a greater part of Nubia closer to Egypt. And there you would have seen that step that they was making to get to them pyramids. Cause you ain't just gonna go from no damn master bar. Like that, you know, a master bar is just a single, the first kings was in master bar, single story. If you look at the step pyramid of Saqqara, built by Imhotep, just the first level, layer. That's a master bar. And then he started to stack them. Okay, in the third dynasty for uh, Zosia, he stacked them. But up until the third dynasty, they was just in single story master bar. And then you seen uh, the kings after Imhotep, they was trying to bring it to the point. They was fucking up too. Cause Seneferu built a pyramid, it's called the Built, the Bent Pyramid. And if he would have completed it, it would have been the lar it would have been larger than the one at Giza. It would have been down there twice the size of Khufu. That's how big, but something went wrong. And so they had to cut it short, the angles, instead of it coming to that point, they had to kind of, you know, bring it in so it looked bent. You see what I'm saying? How There's long, a uh, how long ago was that? Uh, Sneferu was around. Sneferu was around like 2500 BC. Over 2000 years. Right? Yeah. Okay. Way before the Bible. Yeah. yeah About 20 that? and then probably between 200 years, but not further than that. You know, because Sneferu is the father of Khufu, and that's the largest pyramid at Giza. So that was his father. So you can see how he got to where he was. But he did complete one called the Red Pyramid, and it's the uh, like the third largest pyramid on the earth. But the bent one is like the fourth. The bent one is like the fourth, even in the, the you know how he missed the completion. It's still large. So Sneferu put more stone on this planet than any one single man. Sneferu, Sneferu, look him up. There's a lot of weak teachers on the, on you know on YouTube and stuff. Like oh that. man, <laughs> why do you think the so-called teachers stay away from black power? Why are they afraid of black power? Because black power is gonna demand you to fight white power. Go ahead. And when Go niggas is scared of t uh, fighting the white man, they will divert. That's just like you see these. Uh huh. This is this is it's as hard as, as it is to, for us to look at this. Imagine this shit if it was live in your face and the fear coursing through your motherfucking vein. After a while, niggas was, motherfuckers didn't want to see this shit no more. And so when the cracker would say, motherfucker, what you gonna do? Nigga look to the ground. Yep. And once we stop wanting to fight the motherfucker, we develop into the niggas we is today. <laughs> Complacent to fight this goddamn beast. Your nigga, your uncle, ancestor, look to the ground. Look to the ground. All I had to a some, and it wasn't cause they wasn't no men. I mean, goddamn, what the fuck you gonna do? We isolate. We isolate. We ain't got no cavalry coming to America to save our ass. You see what I'm saying? We ain't got no cavalry coming to save. And so after a while, when we seen that nobody could stop these crackers from doing us like this, what the fuck is you gonna do? You're going to say, fuck, you know, okay, all right. You know, and, she, and the woman, she gonna, she, she want to look out after her baby. She don't want this shit to happen to her baby. So she began to teach the, the young babies, the, the men, the things that they needed to do to stay alive in this country. And a lot of times, it's to look down and to do what the fuck the master tell you to do. And to do what the master tells you to do. Most, okay? Most of the slaves that were brought over from the transatlantic slave, slave trade was already in their teens. There wasn't no grown men, most of them. What's that? And women. But we were brought over from, but some right. of us were brought over from transatlantic. A lot of us were in our teens. So we wasn't even really fully paid on women. That's how they did it. That's how they did it because you have to be taught 
your history. You have your innate divinity, but you must be taught your history. And when you can separate a child from his mother and father, and when you put that information in their head, and they don't have not, no other option to look, that's what they think is real, and them generations grew up to teach more generations, and grew up to teach more, and some, and majority of these people have never ever heard of African history, true African history. We really just got it in the 80s. Did you still have done yeah, it? Yeah, the they wrote in the 1800s, we, but we just grasp, grasping them today. So we just really got it in the 80s, and now we faltering already. Niggas is because the black power made a motherfucker go back to the fight. It's about independence. There's no motherfucking compromise. We cannot live without our shit. We need our shit. That's it. We cannot motherfucking just, you know, let that go. We need our shit. And I mean, I'm talking about our land, our resource. We can't live without it. That's why we in this condition, man. And so it got to be, we got we got to separate. We got to separate. But to what, be, just what, to get back off what he Yes, sir. Said, I think that I had read that you uh, said that there were no older slaves that came. Yeah. I think the age limit, what I read, was between 15 and 35. I guess they picked that particular age range because they were ready-made labor. Yeah, but they grabbed all ages. They didn't just grab no one age. They had different reasons for all of them. So they needed them all. They needed them bucks, they needed the women, and they needed the children for different reasons. And so that's how they was broke up. You understand they was given different positions. You got the beast all out here, man. I so, see, so I see them motherfuckers. I see you. What do you say, right? I see you. I see him. I see him. <laughs> what do you say, right, when people say to you, you know, why are we always talking about Africa? Africa don't care about us. <laughs> the Africans are running over here to America. So yeah, why that's the only, that's the only, you know why the Af them Africans is running over here to America? Because they running from them revolutionary niggas over there. Woo. They gonna kill their ass. Huh. They didn't cheat it on their own people for America, so they had to bring them over here. It's like the, uh, what's that shit, the witness protection program. Huh. So they bringing them motherfuckers over here to say they act. The real revolutionaries, oh, just like we are, if it ain't for uh, brothers like Sarnetta, to myself, that's out here actually videotaping, you wouldn't know this goddamn world exists. Right. You wouldn't even know this world exists. You see what I'm saying? So ain't nobody over there recording for revolutionary Africans to show you what they doing and what they trying to achieve. So if you take your ass over there and see for yourself, You'll see, man, it's the same brothers and sisters. It's what the same, it's the same mix. What I ain't saying Africa ever. Been to? I done Africa? been to Ethiopia and I done been to Egypt. I done been to Ethiopia, I've been to Egypt. I've been to Mexico too. <laughs> Have you seen any homosexuals over there? I ain't seen no homosexuals. Oh, King Samir told a different story. Where was he at? Ah. You gotta go back to the video. It, 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 I mean, it might be, it, it might be some new shit. Yeah, I don't, you know. In. But I know Africa is, is they is anti-homosexual in Africa, man. I don't know no nation in Africa that is agreeing with homosexuality. That's bullshit. Now, if the white, but see, that's just what the white man do. He go over there, kidnap our babies. That's why they putting their motherfucking ass out of them African countries. They over there taking them babies. That's what they doing. You think that the He's a baby. He takes babies. That's all he do. That's why they call it kid, K-I-D, napping. So you think Throwing your kid in the knapsack and running off with his ass. So you think that kid napping. That's what it means. Go ahead. So you think that Barack Obama's last trip to Africa, that was what he was trying to promote while he was in, I think, Ghana? Man, Africa then already saw what we saw. They didn't saw what we saw. They ain't, they ain't falling for that image. Barack's image, we, they, all of the hurrah he got, it's over with. He's a lame duck. It's over for him. 
You understand what I'm saying? He about to leave. The only thing he trying to do is to fatten his pockets before the fuck he get out of there. Like all the rest of them. What the fuck can he do? And them crackers done already said they not going for that shit. They gonna give him hell every fucking day he's there. And he's not gonna accomplish nothing. And when they get his ass out of power, they gonna repeal everything the motherfucker ever did. And most of them have already said that. So well, what the on, fuck? Hold on, man. We getting closer to freedom. We got a black president, bro. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he ain't black. That motherfucker man me a cracker. How the hell he black? You get your lineage from your mama. You connected to your mama by umbilical cord. Y'all one into the umbilical cord is seven. You can't be something different than your mama. So I don't give a fuck what he looked like. He was connected to that woman. Which means that they was one. Right. Until seven at the umbilical cord. So his mama is a cracker. So what that make him? Huh. But you are what your father is. Don't the seed come from the Who the fuck know who your daddy is, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> we all been hit this shit, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? Yeah, how you know it? Only way you know if the woman say you the daddy. If you, if that woman say you ain't the daddy, you can't bust up in there and say, I am. They gonna lock your ass up. All right, I want you to right now take this time, right? Because the teachings of the Nation of Islam is gone. You don't hear the white man is the devil no more. Uh -huh. Go into the science and show us why you say the white man is the devil. Go into the science of it. Well, you know. Go that, into his history. See, I, I, I call him real, really what he is. I call him the beast. See, the devil shit, that's religious. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, and this is characteristic, no doubt. That's one of it. But when you look at the devil and religion first, he was St. Lucifer. He was the most beloved of God. He was the most beautiful angel, St. Lucifer. The white man don't have no origin like that. When we first see the cracker, that motherfucker is a caveman. Okay, so he don't have no origin where he, black power. He don't have no origin where he the most beautiful. Okay, he don't have no. So when you start playing that devil shit, yeah, the count as as the you know the beast. And you know when they use that terminology, yeah. But when you they can latch that Lucifer shit on today. See? And that's what niggas try to use to say, well, he's not all bad. You understand what I'm saying? It was a time when he was good. You see what I'm saying? He was even loved of God. You see? He ain't never was loved of God. Okay? He ain't got no goddamn... Dis God is the son. God is the son. The S-U-N. And that's why every time you see anything that's divine, how do you know it's divine? It got a halo. It got a halo. Mm -hmm. You got pictures where it have the saint, right. it had a halo, halo right and everybody on. else don't have no halo. Right. So I'm going to ask you the question again. How do you know that something is divine? The, the sun. There's a halo, which is the sun. The sun gives that thing divinity. Right. So the real divine God is the sun. That's what it is. And in the Bible it says, for God is a sun and a shield. That's in Proverbs. You can, you can just Google it oh, in. You have a big fight if, with the Hebrew. If you that. just Google it in, God is a sun and a shield, it'll take you right to the verse. For God, and then the other one where it say, this, and the sun will rise with healing in his wings. And, the, and if you look at that particular verse, the S is spelled with a capital S. And the only time you capitalize something when it's a person, a place, and a thing. So, look at it. So we don't I bet you know. it's capitalized. So, we don't even, so you say I Christmas. bet you it's capitalized. Yeah. Go look it up. You lying ass. <laughs> Go look it up. God is a son. Anytime, any, any religion, if you want to separate the divine from the common, it's going to be the halo. It's the sun that gives all the motherfuckers divinity. So without the sun, everything dies. It would die. It's a, solar, it's a solar system. Uh. And use a cracker without no melody. In a solar system. <laughs> Something wrong. 
something didn't happen right right there. You feel me? Huh. And so when you look at, if you Google in, Adam and Eve expelled from Eden, you will see Adam and Eve. When you'll see the sun up there. You, don't, you won't see the sun, you just see the light, and you'll see Adam like this <laughs> with his hand up. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Like hurt the sun put their ass up out of the garden. <laughs> Go look at it. Look at it. Niggas hurt. Because they know they done seen it already. And now that one and two is coming together. And it's fucking people up. Go look at it. Go look it up. And you will see Adam going up and so many saw, times his head. And I'm like, I want you to watch. And watch this too. You will see him got like an animal skin on. And if you Google in caveman, you will put that shit side by side. You will see it's the same garb of the caveman. Look at it. I want you to look at it. It's the truth, and you got that shit on your wall. Go look at it. I bet you it's the goddamn. And that's see that I'm just freestyle. I'm freestyling, y'all. Right. My shit is thorough, nigga. Believe that. Get any goddamn Hebrew or any Muslim, Christian, or goddamn Jew, Freemason, it don't make no difference which one of them it is. All of them are Jew based. So all you have to do is jump jump on the Jew and you got them all. One time. Don't go fucking with the latter ones and shit. You wasting your time. Go down there to the main one and that's the Jew. So when you attack that Old Testament, you attack them all. They all need Adam. And when you look at it, Adam, Abraham come from Adam, David come from Abraham, and Jesus is supposed to come from Abraham too. So if you take any one of them out of the link, you can cancel the whole thing. That's why you go to the Old Testament. You sink them all. Every last one of them need Abraham. All of them. He's the father of the Hebrews. He's the father. I ain't gonna give y'all too much more. On that. <laughs> I'm gonna say that ass whooping for, for late. No Question. Go ahead. Um, it's an honor to see you in real life. But I got a couple of DVDs. But it's like a lot of times I work with um, Muslims. Okay. And a lot of them, they say, oh, the uh, Quran has never been tampered with. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've been tampered with, tell them to produce the first Quran. And that right there gonna prove it been tampered with. Where the first Quran? The only way you can not prove that it ain't been tampered is to produce the first Quran. Do they have the first Quran? Ask them that. They don't have it. They don't have the original text. It been tampered with. If that ain't the one God, that's why I keep saying how you, you revising it, how you get better than God. <laughs> man, listen here, man. They got a copyright on the Bible. <laughs> you can't just up and make your own Bible. You got to lease that shit. Man, I, I wouldn't even lie to y'all. They got a copyright on the Bible. You can't just up and make no Bible. You have to lease that from them. I, 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 it fucked me up, man. I, I just say, man, let, let me see if, if the, cause this a bold <laughs> move this shit up. And it's certain, like the, man, they got a copyright on certain, you know, like the King James, them crackers got copyrights on it. You cannot just up and make your own and say, I'm gonna print bite. They gonna come sue your ass. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on. I ain't seen nobody step up and say shit. And everybody out here is damn near one or the other. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bring it on. Cause when you um, uh, come on man, Adam and Eve, when you see the stuff. Man, come on, Sabir. They want me to call you over here. <laughs> I ain't, I'm loved, though. Say what's up. That's Come all. on over here, man. Some love, this, this is what I've done. This, 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 this is what I do right here. This is my dog and my right God. Here. There you, you go. Know, for this real. Right here. No, but I, I'm serious. This is what it is. Right? I'm not. We don't oh, have time for Oh, man. No, oh, hell no. I left your hometown, too. What you was doing up there, boy? You didn't, you didn't check with me, man. I didn't like that. You got to give me your number, man. Give me the number. But I was there for three days, man. For real. I've been up here. We got to work on Detroit, boy. We got to get it. Nah, he know. Come on up there, man. Help me out. Get it. No, Help me out, for yeah, real. Yeah. I'll be looking for. I'm gonna see you. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So, you know, the Bible you dealing with that. All right. But, but I'm gonna tell you, say, you really gotta have your shit together if you're going up against these Hebrews, man. I'm telling you, brothers, a bot is no joke. 
He know this Bible if, backwards. If, if the, he can know that motherfucker any which way he want to know it. It don't make no difference. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I told you, brother. All I can do is I come with the it. facts. All right. I guarantee you, the only thing he gonna use is the Bible. That's yeah. all he gonna use. That's all he gonna use. That's a myopic ass view. You already know that. You niggas don't go to church. You niggas don't go. Y'all know that book. The little part y'all was taught. So y'all really ain't into that shit like that. Y'all ain't into that religion like y'all ain't into that shit like that. The brother said he believed Jesus was a good man. Hey. The story that they say about him. What did you say? What was the what was how did you uh what was the say the sentence again? You believe. Did you say believe? Yeah. Okay. That ends the the argument. Right. <laughs> I didn't ask you what you believe. I asked you what you knew and what you know. And that's what you can prove. Just like I say, most people say they know God. Well, call him up. Give me God's number because I'm, I want to talk to him. You see, as a, I believe in the divine essence, right. we can see that. We can see that, but nobody know the individual or if there's an individual or what it is. And there's many verses in the Bible that state that. That nobody knows the, the depths of God. It's a, it's, it said in one of the verses, I got it. It say no man, no, you can Google it. No man, no beginning or end. No man, and you can Google it and it'll come up. No man, no begin, uh, beginning or end. So I asked the question, what is Genesis and what is Revelation? It's supposed to be beginning and end. Okay then, go go. <laughs> so if it ain't, if no man know beginning and end, what is Genesis and what is Revelation? <laughs> go go. I bet you it come up. And so you you gonna be going against your. That's what I do. I put you against your own house. I use your own book against you. That's your great. My greatest weapon against any of y'all is your own book. I know that motherfucker. Any. All the verses I know, I need to know to sink that motherfucker. I know. I know him. It's gonna cause you to question this shit in a way that's gonna pull the foundation from up on it. Period. Man been here much longer than a goddamn fake ass Adam and Eve. God damn it, we got we got ovens in Africa. The document was in the New York Post. Go back goddamn 40,000, 50,000 years, it was carbon dated. Do you know what level of science you, you need to get a goddamn furnace to smelt metal? Huh. These ain't no, <laughs> come on man, that was thick. And the, and, the, and the metals that they left, these is real metals. These is, you know what I'm saying? Steel, not steel, but iron and copper type of metals. You have to be of a certain, and it's carbon dated at 50,000 years, and you gonna tell me about a goddamn Adam and Eve at four? Six, six. I wouldn't give a goddamn what? I wouldn't, it ain't no six, it's 4,000 some years. Cause they dated from the time of Moses. Moses supposedly came up with Ramesses. That's the 19th dynasty. That's around 1200 BC. If you go to the king's list at Abydos, the temple of Abydos, that's the oldest documented uh, uh, record of kings on the earth. You got Narma, the first king, to Seti, the last king. And that's over 2,000, and it got the cartouches on there with their names in it. Two thought straight, ain't a break in it. Ain't a break in the lineage from Narma to Seti. Now from Moses to Abraham is 500 years and then from Abraham to Moses is about another thousand. You can easily fit that story into that king's list. Where the flood at? Ain't no damn break in the damn king's list. Ain't no break in the damn, it keep going. Where the hell the world was flooded at? It wasn't flooded in Africa. So are How you, you gonna have, it was no break, it was over 2,000 years. You can Google it right now. The world has documented. You can go and see it. It's damn near big as this whole. So the Egyptians did not enslave the Jews? <laughs> enslave them to do what? According to the Bible, they said that. What the, the hell Egyptians is you going to do with a nomad? Enslave what you the Jews do with a nomad? And they built the pyramids. <laughs> the Jews built the pyramids. They built the pyramids, but they didn't build adequate tombs for their own prophets and kings. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gonna build a listen so you're here. saying the Jews built the pyramids? No, I didn't no no. no, no. I said, no, no, but no, I'm no, saying no, no. if you say you build built the pyramid, the pyramid yeah, yeah, yeah. you should be yeah, able to build adequate tombs yeah. for your kings and, and your prophets. Right. We ain't found not one or a tomb of any prophet or any disciple of God from the Bible. Not one. You ain't got no original text from that one. No original manuscript. So you don't even know when the shit was written. How do you know if you ain't got an original text? How do you know when it was written? Anybody? <laughs> you gotta believe. <laughs> Uh-oh, he said you gotta believe. <laughs> you gotta believe. <laughs> well, you keep on believing. And you want and motherfucker gonna keep asking the question, what can we do to change this shit? Right. You gotta change your way of thinking. Right. You gotta get this bullshit up. Nobody was born with a book strapped to their ass. Mm -hmm. Nobody was born with a religion. So you saying get a white man? A back man Jesus? or a woman walking down the street, put that shit in your hand. Get and a say, white man hey, back as Jesus. Let me introduce you to something. Huh? Give the white man back Jesus, you saying? Hell yeah! Without a doubt, what you gonna do with it? You didn't have the shit for this long. Oh, honey, yeah. You got to reap something. I, what did you reap from it? Mm. When you look at all these communities that used to be black, Detroit, Harlem, this, that, and the third, the church is still here. Mm -hmm. But everything else gone. The churches remain. They are part of the system. They, I mean, I mean, goddamn Detroit. It's still some goodness in Detroit. But the the motherfuckers that profit the, the, the most was the liquor stores and the churches. They still there. And the goddamn funeral homes. That's the only goddamn bit in, in the hair beauty supplies. The beauty supplies owned by the Koreans. All the goddamn supermarkets, all the liquor stores owned by the Arabs. Oh. We don't have not one major super, uh, you know, major brand supermarket anymore. All the, they just little small supermarkets, and they all owned by the Arabs. So you got a, ma a majority black population like that. Ain't no money coming in. Everything you spend your money on, these motherfuckers take out there to their community. You ain't keeping nothing for your goddamn self. The majority of the money that we make should be kept within the black community. That's the only, but, look at here, look at Harlem, gone. We ain't got shit, they doing this shit all around the country. And but the, why is that though? Why is that? Why does the black dollar only circulate one time? What is in it? What because we don't produce a goddamn thing. Okay, but we've been saying this since the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. True did indeed. It. And but we're still but saying the, in the 2013. But see, but that's How why. How are we gonna get it done? But see, that's when it comes to the point where people feel they ain't got no other alternative, and they seek revolution. Huh. That's when you look at when revolutions happen like that. People have damn near put everything on the tape. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? I don't see no revolution on, coming on, back on. for a long time, bro. So, it ain't so, coming. So, so. In this kind of way, we thinking. They driving bins, they got no. jobs. No, ain't nothing it's going gonna, gonna to happen, but it's going to happen a different kind of way. It's going to be a more quiet type of revolution. Motherfuckers is going to flee. Motherfuckers is fleeing now. But did we fleeing as individuals and families? But motherfuckers been fleeing over the last 60, 70 years. Motherfuckers didn't move back to Africa from America. We didn't move back. We ain't just moved back in masses, but it's hundreds of thousands of blacks from America that they moved back to various parts the African, of Africa. The Africans are here to enslave you again, brother. You don't even know that. <laughs> They coming here in mass right now. Uh -huh. These motherfuckers don't even want to be a part of you. When you see us in our rallies, when they shoot down one of us, you don't see not one African protesting, brother. Okay. Them motherfuckers is but, here but, to but, but, but damn. Slave shit. I hear you. I hear you, but I just told you that most of these motherfuckers running from the revolutionary niggas like us are over there. Uh -huh. You can't use him as a standard for all Africa. Right. I went over there, and I'm going to tell you, if your spirit is right, they're going to know it, and they're going to treat you accordingly. That's how I got it. I'm going to just tell you how I got it. 
Yeah, it was funny acting, motherfuckers, but that's all around the world. Mm -hmm. that's you what... ain't gonna go over there and get everybody to go along with your goddamn program. Yeah. Motherfucker can't even get motherfuckers in his own household to go. So you ain't got to go way to Africa that don't find a motherfucker that don't want, don't want to work with you. Uh. Shit, don't let that be no goddamn excuse. It's Africans over there that's really ready to get with us, it, you know, but it got to be in love. It gotta be most Americans go over there like they, you know, that's that's how Americans eat. They think they run the planet. And so they snobs and shit. That's how motherfuckers look at Americans, man. You so, know? So to put everything on the table, pre-revolution, what you think about rev um, reparations? How you feel about that? Do you feel we should I'll, fight for it or go for it? Or it should be a branch department of our people that focus on getting reparations, whether we get it or not. Because our ancestors worked for it. Fuck that. We want our shit. We want our shit. Our ancestors work for it. So whether we get it or not, we should be having a department of our people that's fighting for reparation. You know, that's the reality of what kind of money we need to get out of the hole we in. That's the only kind of money that's going to get us up out of this shit. We need and benefiting off of what our ancestors do. So it ain't just the white man we bowing down to. Right. It's all these other motherfuckers too. That's a defeatist mentality, man. When you just let anybody, goddamn, we've been over here. Yeah. And we know our ancestors built it. It was only white and black here for a minute. So what does 